Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. I'm out by the yard. The chickens are out in, the, in their big yard. And I thought I'd leave them out before it starts to get evil here. Although I think it's like, what, 5.30 maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, there's Echo. Echo's the only one that has not laid an egg since his sister was killed. Her sister. Her, her, her. Her hens. Anyway, <coughs> uh, they're out here. Scratching and pecking, hopefully getting some bugs and worms and things. Hi Andy, thanks for joining. I, um, scoping about my chickens out in the yard. I just have four left. I'm going to be getting more in the spring. But uh, for this fall and winter, I'll have these four girls. They give me just enough eggs for me. This is uh, Martha right here. Martha, named after Martha Stewart. She has some beautiful uh, chickens. I used to watch her program a lot. But uh, on her, I'd call it an estate. She has beautiful gardens and beautiful chicken coops and lovely chickens and eggs. I named this one after Martha. I think it was a good name because she grew up to be the uh, head of the flock, top of the pecking order. Sort of like I think Martha Stewart is. As you see out in the yard, I have a uh, coop out there that is just out there for, they don't live in that coop, but it's out there for, they have to run for cover. Say if a, if a hawk came swooping by or they felt any danger, they could go in there and uh, for cover. Also, if they were out here long enough and had the need to lay an egg, there are egg boxes and nesting boxes in there that they could go in and lay an egg. I think one time I found an egg in there. Otherwise, uh, Pepsi, sometimes when she goes in with the chickens, Pepsi is my barn cat, one of my barn cats. She'll go in. In fact, here's Pepsi right here. She's right behind me. Here. She loves to be with the chickens. <clears throat> I think she thinks she's a chicken. You want to let me know who's out there watching, and uh, I'd love to interact and comment as long as I'm watching here. I'll turn the camera around just for one second. Hi, it's me. I don't have any fancy lenses on or anything today. This is just my iPhone lens. I sent for um, Rode Lav uh, mic, a lapel mic, a Lav Plus mic. Uh, I'm in Prime, Amazon Prime, but of course because I wanted it right away, I think it was out of stock and instead of coming in two days, it's not coming till next, I think it's next Thursday. So it's always the thing you want the most that takes the longest. <clears throat> My shirt looks purple. It's white, actually. Uh, today I went and had lunch with a friend of mine from the barn and uh, we played with our iPads. She wanted me to teach her some more internet stuff. Uh, she doesn't go on the internet at all. She's so afraid of, uh, I don't know, getting her name out there and getting hacked or something. I don't know what she's afraid of. I told her that her name's probably out there anyway, that she should just Google her name and uh, see what uh, she can find out about what's on there. 
I think I'm going to Google her name later and see. She thinks she's hiding, but uh, nobody hides from the internet, I don't think. She's probably... She's looked up things about horses and all kinds of things, so I'm sure her name is on out there. <coughs> uh, my sister is coming next week to visit. Let me put you back on the chickens. Coming next Thursday or Friday for a couple of weeks, which will be fun. And we usually do a lot of things, so I'll try to take you along with us when we, uh, wherever we go. I'm, I'm trying to get a, a scope together about. Uh, not just about aging, but about uh, aging well and all the things that you can do. And I'd love to get more uh, seniors, think about how get getting more seniors on the internet and to uh, to uh, communicate with each other on the internet. <coughs> So if you're at all computer savvy, try out Periscope, or, or if you know seniors that are kind of uh, interested in the internet, show them uh, Periscope. It's fun. And I think uh, there's a lot of elderly, I would say older than, <coughs> older than 60 probably that get really lonesome uh, because nobody writes letters anymore. A lot of people don't even use the telephone anymore. But everybody uses the internet and email and uh, Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. So I think it would be a good thing for us. Uh, seniors to learn how to do that. I know it, uh, I'd be lost without my computers, my iPad and my iPhone. <coughs> we finally had rain last night and early this morning, so that's good. I'm not sure how much, but it was at least, at least an inch, maybe more. Hi Molly. This is Mo this is uh not Molly. This is Dottie. The black and white one is Dolly. That one's Molly. The black and white hen uh is the biggest talker. She talks a lot. And I don't know if you just heard my dog. My dog uh, likes to keep me in sight and she can't see me right now. And there's a prime example of how they think things are better on the other side of the fence. <laughs> it's the same grass on both sides. But the grass is always greener, I guess. get somebody to talk to me, but I don't think uh, anybody's on here. It says three, but I don't know. If you're there, at least give me a heart or something. Let me know somebody's there. I'm not talking to my iPhone. Just my iPhone case. Girls, the shadows are getting long. It's going to be. The sun is still pretty high, but as soon as it gets lower and lower, the hens will want to get out of this yard and back into their chicken run where they can go in their coop. So, I think. Uh, I think that's. 
Okay, I'll put that up here. And I'm going to show you this old tree. I've shown it before, but maybe you haven't seen it. There's an old, old tree down here. It's, I'm sure, maybe as old as the house. My house was built in 1850. And this tree, this big old tree, nobody's quite sure what kind it is. It has the most interesting bark. It, could, it may be a, an Osage orange. It doesn't drop any fruit, but it could be too old. Too old to drop fruit anymore. But it has wonderful bark on it. And lots of holes where I see uh, the uh, little red squirrels. There's families of little red squirrels living in this tree. Anybody have any idea? what they think this tree is. See, it has these big round growths that come out of it. And we have holes that squirrels go in. Very uh, intriguing. So, I think I will close for this evening. And I will see you another time. Good night.